This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. And good morning, September 26, 6 o'clock. I'm Ray Collins and dressed in pink. That's right, bright and shiny on a yes. hump day morning. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. We're that way. I am Stephanie Roberts. It is good to be here with everyone. And it's also good to be outside this morning. Clear skies, yeah. quiet conditions. All of that makes for a nice start to a Wednesday. We're going to check in with meteorologist John Scalzi to see what we can expect as the day goes on. Good morning. Top of the morning. Yeah, it's pretty outside. A lot of stars out there. We have that dry air still in place, but it's starting to moisten. We're starting to get a little bit more moisture. Riding up from the south, this cluster of clouds south of Cuba may eventually bring us the moisture we need in combination with several other factors to increase our rain chances by the weekend. Right now, though, we don't have much of a rain chance again today. Kind of similar to yesterday, we'll spend most of the day dry with a few scattered showers building in inland areas mostly later in the day. And along the coastline, our rain chance holds at about 10 percent after a daytime high of close to the 90 degree mark has been reached. Complete forecast details coming up in a few. All right, talk to you soon. Checking first alert traffic now, looking at uh, an issue ongoing east of the interstate on State Road 70. Right turn lane blocked at Ranch Lake Boulevard. Be aware of that, otherwise pretty clear in Manatee County. Still showing some problems there at the 41301 fork in the road in uh, Sarasota. Also problems just south of Clark Road on US 41, so be aware of that. Otherwise pretty clear at almost 602 on your Wednesday morning. Topping our news this hour, the latest on the Puerto Rico crisis. President Trump says he will make his first visit to Puerto Rico next Tuesday as the island struggles to recover from Hurricane Maria. Meantime, some say the president's been more concerned with the NFL than with Puerto Rico. ABC's Lana Zak has the latest. President Trump is answering questions about his response to the disaster in Puerto Rico. Is Puerto Rico getting all the help it needs from you, Mr. President? Puerto Rico is very important to me, and Puerto Rico, the people are... Uh, fantastic people. But on the ground, the island is in crisis. 95% of Puerto Rico is still without power, more than half of its residents without clean water. And take a look at this. What appears to be a line of parked cars is actually a gas line, while hundreds wait at the airport trying to flee. But there aren't enough planes, and those that do get out remember those that were left behind. I left back my family, friends, and co workers, and I'm here. <laughs> and they are. You know, they don't have water, they don't have light, they don't have so many things that they need. Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. Its residents are American citizens. But a week after Hurricane Maria, many say the federal response has been insufficient. Are you getting the stuff you need fast enough? No. No. And I'm sorry if that's not politically correct to say. San Juan's mayor says bureaucratic red tape is holding up relief efforts. New York Congresswoman Nadia Velasquez on CNN went even further. This is going to turn to be Mr. Trump's Katrina. In response to the criticisms, the White House released photos of the president in the Situation Room being briefed on Puerto Rico, and he brushed off questions about whether he's been preoccupied by his battle with the NFL. Was I preoccupied? Not at all. Not at all. I have plenty of time on my hands. All I do is work. The Trump administration also announced that they would potentially be doubling the amount of U.S. troops helping out in Puerto Rico and that the federal government would take up 100 percent of the costs associated with the emergency response. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington. Developing overnight, Judge Roy Moore has won the Alabama Republican primary runoff for U.S. Senate, defeating appointed incumbent Luther Strange. Strange was backed by both President Trump and Senator Mitch McConnell. Moore clinched a nine-point victory over Strange to take the GOP nomination. That seat was previously held by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Now Moore will face Democrat Doug Jones in a special election in December. Here's the winner's reaction. This is the time for victory. It's the time to remember the struggles we've gone through. But it's also time to rededicate our lives to God and to the Constitution, and to our country, to our families. Let's go again and make America great. Thank you. May God bless you. President Trump has since deleted his tweets endorsing Strange. President Trump's administration is adding stronger sanctions against eight North Korean banks and dozens of North Korean nationals working in China, Russia, and Libya. Trump also issued a familiar warning to North Korea, saying the U.S. is prepared to use devastating military action if necessary. The latest threat comes as Kim Jong-un's military moved a number of their fighter jets, fuel tanks, and missiles to a base on its eastern coast to boost the country's military readiness. Back here in Florida, the state's highest court is denying 
fighting the appeal of a Fort Myers area man who killed a couple back in 1983. The Florida Supreme Court made its ruling in the case of Michael Lambrix, who was convicted in the killings of Clarence Moore and Alicia Bryant. Prosecutors say he killed them after an evening of drinking at his trailer near LaBelle, about 30 miles east of Fort Myers. He is set for execution next Thursday. All right, bizarre story here. An arrest has been made in a nearly three-decade-old Florida murder case. Police arrested Sheila Keen in Virginia in the death of Marlene Warren. Warren was shot as she opened her front door for a clown carrying flowers and balloons back in 1990. Police say Keene was that person in the clown costume. She later married the victim's husband and became Sheila Keene Warren. Police say they considered her a suspect all along but didn't have the evidence yet. Well, thanks to new technology, they were able to reopen the case and make an arrest. Nearly three-quarters of Floridians are concerned about the costs of nursing home care, with the worries highest among women. According to the USF Nielsen Sunshine State Survey, 37% of the people surveyed were very concerned about nursing home costs, with 36% somewhat concerned. The survey also found that the greatest worries were among people ages 55 to 64. The summary says this age group is more aware of the actual costs of nursing home care, since many of them are already dealing with elder relatives in those facilities. Facilities. Governor Scott says Florida is committed to helping Puerto Rico in any way possible throughout the recovery process there. Scott notified the Florida National Guard and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission to be on standby for deployment as soon as we receive a formal request from Puerto Rico. The governor is also asking Florida state colleges and universities to allow students displaced by the storm in Puerto Rico to be offered in-state tuition here. Fishermen in the Florida Keys are now getting help from the air to find lobster traps that were lost during Hurricane Irma. Florida Sea Grant is sending two aircraft with GPS-capable cameras over the island chain to document the locations of lobster trap clusters in the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico. The pilots are trained to identify areas where currents and winds pull the traps, buoys, and fishing lines together. The data will then be shared with fishermen and state wildlife officials trying to salvage the equipment. The lobster fishing industry is worth $150 million in the Keys. Just another instance where you don't realize the side effects yeah. of a storm like this. All that equipment out there now jumbled together. Just what I was thinking. Hey. The whole infrastructure is so complex and intertwined. You just don't think about all the ramifications. Yeah. And it's sad so because funny. the ramifications are, I think, are a lot deeper than any mm -hmm. of us realize That's as true. we watch the storms approach. Yeah, I miss my lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, the cost of everything is now going up. <laughs> that's so silly. A uh, lobster's awesome down in the Keys, too. Mm -hmm. I, we were just talking earlier. I think it's my favorite lobster of all, oh, of all that's the interesting. Uh, it's so good and so close to home. We have uh, some showers in the forecast down the road today, though. Another dry day. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. Also, still ahead, first alert traffic. And how much is this week's World Rowing Championship really helping the Sun Coast? We'll tell you how experts say the big event will impact our area financially when we come back. 40 Carats Family Center and the Community Foundation of Sarasota County present the 15th annual free speaker event, The Whole Brain Child, featuring world-renowned neuropsychiatrist and author, Dr. Dan Siegel, at Riverview High School Auditorium, Tuesday, October 3rd at 7 p.m. Learn strategies to nurture children's minds at all ages, survive everyday parenting struggles, and help your family thrive. RSVP required at 40carats.org. That's F-O-R-T-Y carats.org. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services. Com. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. 
Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. Services.com. your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 73 degree air temperature dew point to match 100% relative humidity when the temperature and dew point are equal. We have a north wind light at about 3. It's a pleasant start to the morning. A lot of starry sky out there and not much in the way of any kind of rainfall anywhere across the entire state of Florida right now. Southern tip has a few showers, but that's really it. 76 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka coming in at 75, Parrish 73, 72 degrees in Bradenton, 78 degrees in uh, Northport, 77 in Punta Gorda. And we're looking at those few scattered showers over on the other coast, kind of decaying thunderstorms over there. And then in the southern tip of the state, we still have some thunderstorm activity um, down around Alligator Alley. But other than that, the entire state is very quiet this morning. In fact, that's probably the way it's going to be for the next couple mornings till we get to the weekend, and then we'll see some significant changes, I think. Locally, everything is quiet on radar for a morning commute and probably will be for your morning, for your evening commute home as well. Back to the west, not such, a, not such the same story. We have a front that kind of trails right straight through Michigan, down through parts of the uh, Ohio Valley, and then into areas of the deep south. Oklahoma and Texas getting some fairly heavy rainfall today if you're traveling to that location. Expect some airport delays. Across our state, we still have this spinning gyre of uh, upper level trough. It's just kind of stuck in place. There's nothing to, to kick it out of here, nothing to eject it. So we're just waiting for it to K away, which it will eventually do. But already we are noticing some changes. Moisture from the south kind of lifting north, eroding away all this dry air that's indicated here by these tan colorizations on the water vapor imagery, a snapshot from space of where the moisture is and where it is not. The tan is the very dry air, and you can see how it is kind of just beginning to retreat across Florida from south to north across the state. That will continue as we head into the next several days. And as it does that, there will be two other ingredients that will add into the mix to help enhance rainfall chances this weekend. One of them will be this trough of low pressure, this frontal boundary sinking southward. That's going to stall out basically over us as we head into the last half of the weekend. And then some computer models suggest an area of low pressure developing out here in the near Atlantic. And then that area of low pressure will drift across the Florida Peninsula, enhancing rainfall chances. So for today, we look for mostly inland showers, a fairly dry day, a warm afternoon, mostly sunny skies, very similar to yesterday with maybe a few more showers around. Then as we head into the weekend, you'll see it in the extended range forecast, our rain chances will bump up. Watch on our RPM computer model, a few more showers, particularly in well inland areas, Highlands County, seeing some heavier storms today compared to the last few days. Now, on the extended range forecast, which comes up in just a moment, you'll notice the spike in weekend rain showers. But today, great boating weather. Northwest wind at about 10 knots will bring you two foot seas and a light chop. Those winds could increase as we head into the weekend. If that low develops, we'll be watching for that. 
We'll also watch for a spike in rainfall chances to about 50% or even better on Saturday and Sunday. And some of those rains might be heavy. Back to you. All right, looks good. Thank you very much, John. Checking out traffic this morning. Things moving well on the expressways, but we are looking at an accident, not on I-75, but rather State Road 70, just east of the interstate. So something to keep in mind as you're in and out of Lakewood Ranch there. All quiet in Sarasota this morning. I-75 looking great. Little volume getting on and off at Fruitville Road. And in South County, no problems. All quiet for your morning commute. It is 616, and rowers from nearly 70 countries are here on the Sun Coast for the World Rowing Champions and show our thousands of their family members and friends. And all this is good news for hotels and restaurants and retailers. Our Haley Wilgus takes a closer look. Have you all dined with us before? Yes. Manager Chad Ingle has been welcoming a lot more international guests to Brio Tuscan Grill, including this family from the Netherlands who has a son competing in the World Rowing Championships. We've had uh, quite a bit of new foot traffic through that. Uh, athletes, they started rolling in last Tuesday or Wednesday. And spectators, uh, very busy Saturday night. So we had uh, quite a few reservations and a lot of walk-ins we see from uh, mostly international folks. Brio is just one of several businesses in the University Town Center area seeing a boost in customers. The Brio staff welcomes the extra business and the chance to get involved as a sponsor for the event. We've known about this for months and we've been preparing for weeks. Um, we're actually doing a kind of a donation hosting uh, three separate events over at the new uh, tower on site there. Um, so we're feeding breakfast and lunch. And according to Visit Sarasota County President Virginia Haley, the impact of the championships extends far beyond the UTC area. We've created events in every community in the county has a featured event. So downtown Sarasota's shining tonight. All the uh, breweries will be shining tomorrow. So we're giving visitors a taste of the community. As far as total economic impact, the goal for tourism officials is $24 million. And Haley says there's only been one possible setback. We lost a few room nights early on because of that unwelcome little visitor we had named Irma. But um, it, it, in what we've seen now, all the hotels are full. That's expected to continue through the weekend, with more visitors scheduled to arrive for finals. Saturday and Sunday's races are standing room only. Many have never been to the U.S., much less the Sun Coast. They're seeing us for the first time, and we're hearing that they can't wait to come back when they can just relax and be on the beaches. Repeat visitors mean a long-term economic benefit. Haley Wilkes, ABC7, your Suncoast News. I'm wondering how many are actually going to watch. How many local residents are not mm. working and, and, and are that interested in rowing to go out and watch? Timing is tough, I think. I know I have plans to go out tomorrow, and I'm very excited to see the facility. Yeah. It looks gorgeous, lit up when I'm coming in in yeah. the mornings. Um, but, you know, kids are in school, parents are working. Our snowbirds aren't here yet. Right, So right. if the timing could adjust, I think the impact would be even greater. True. But, but regardless, for the rowing community and the area to have the recognition, it's all good. That's right. We'll have a live picture from there after this break. Up next, the FBI may slam dunk some college basketball coaches. Oh, this is an um, unbelievable story. Why they are now focusing on these coaches allegedly being bribed by sports agents in a big apparel company after this. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio takes the modern compact luxury crossover and injects it with personality. Every crossover should be this good to drive. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. This is an important medical announcement. Talcum powder products from some of the best known brands have been linked to ovarian cancer. Any woman who has used a talcum powder product and has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that women with long-term use of talcum powder, including baby powder for feminine hygiene, can increase the risk of contracting ovarian cancer. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to women who should have been warned about the risks of ovarian cancer with long-term use of talcum powder. Call the talcum powder hotline. If you or a loved one used talcum powder and were diagnosed or died from ovarian cancer, you must call now. Call 800-570-7599. 800-570-7599.
Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Are you currently on Medicare? In other words, do you carry the red, white, and blue Medicare card? If so, are you suffering from chronic back pain? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost, shipped directly to your home for free. These medical-grade back braces are ideal for lower back pain, arthritis, spinal disorders, and other chronic back problems. Our accredited staff will handle all of the Medicare paperwork for free. And best of all, your brace is shipped directly to your home for free. Don't let chronic lower back pain slow you down. Get moving and stay active with a medical-grade back brace covered by Medicare at little to no cost. We also accept Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna, Humana, and other insurance. Will you qualify for a medical grade back brace covered by Medicare? Find out for free. Call Back Brace America at 1 800 715 0835. That's 1 800 715 0835. 1 800 715 0835. I went in skeptical and came away impressed. Stelvio can spring from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds, a segment best. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Welcome back. We are taking a live look at the very pretty finishing tower lit up at Nathan Benderson Park, where thousands of athletes, coaches, family members from around the world here for the World Rowing Championships. I was out there on Sunday, and it's funny with rowing. I stood there actually at the rowing, at the finishing tower. You really can't see the boats until they're right upon you at the finish line. Right. It's a long distance yeah. all the way across across the park. But I will tell you, when you drive up I-75, they were still, I think, doing some final heats yesterday on my way home, or maybe even just some late practice runs. Yeah. You really have to remind yourself you're driving because you just oh, want to look. I it's mean, it's very compelling. Yeah, yeah. It is very, very There is compelling. a jumbotron, so you can see the races in progress before they get to you, but it's a not a great spectator sport, but certainly great athletes. Well, I couldn't do that. For oh, absolutely. We yeah. had some of them on Suncoast View yesterday, and yeah. very impressive. Very uh -huh. tall. Very, very tall. Yeah, that's right. It is 623, and speaking of athletes, a college basketball bribery scandal has led to the arrest of 10 people. That includes assistant coaches at some of the top colleges. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the story. In this morning's GMA first look, at least 10 people, four assistant coaches at some of the country's elite Division I programs among them, now face federal bribery, fraud, and corruption charges. Coaches at some of the nation's top programs soliciting and accepting cash bribes. The FBI says its two-year investigation revealed college coaches taking cash bribes up to $100,000 in exchange for steering NBA-bound athletes towards specific financial advisors and sports agents. One of the schools being investigated, Powerhouse Louisville, and sportswear giant Adidas also caught up in the scandal. Experts say this is only the tip of the iceberg. Beneath that March Madness veneer is this dark underbelly. And coming up at 7 a.m., Former Duke basketball star Jay Williams weighs in live. With your GMA First Look, I'm Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. Here's what I want for Charlie's food. Wholesome ingredients, real meat first. No chicken or poultry byproduct meals. No corn, wheat, or soy. When you add it all up, there's only one choice for me. Wholesome and healthy blue buffalo. Mom would always say you go to Burlington when you need a new coat. I love the jewelry. They have everything for the baby. Dresses. Shoes and socks. Sweaters. Great fragrances. All the great brands at a fraction of the cost. It's Burlington Coat Factory. It's just Burlington. Oh, <laughs> Burlington. Allergy sufferers, a word to the wise. If symptoms at night ruin your next day, try Zizol. It relieves symptoms while you sleep and keeps relieving all day. Because Zizol's as effective at hour 24 as at hour 1. So, be wise all. Take Zizol. At Almond Breeze, we only use California-grown Blue Diamond almonds in our almond milk, and we're proud of that. But the whole care and nurturing part? That idea, we borrowed from the experts. Blue Diamond Almond Breeze. The best almonds make the best almond milk.
Hi, how y'all doing this morning? My name is Alan Brista. I'm a chef at Publix Aprons Cooking School. This is Jim Hendry, another chef at Publix Aprons Cooking School. Jim, what are you going to cook for us today, buddy? Italian bean soup. Ooh, I love that. We're going to start with a little olive oil here and saute a little garlic. Everything's better when you start it with garlic. Good sound, good sound. You're going to saute that until it's a little fragrant and golden brown. Okay. We're going to add a little diced onion and pepper mix. A little bit of Italian seasoning. A little bit of crinkle cut carrot. Some green beans. Gotta love them. Gotta have your veggies. Gotta have the veggies in there. We're gonna add a little bit of white beans. Those cannellini yes. beans? Yeah, these are cannellini. Or you can use great northern white beans. beans. Sure. Yeah, about the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add a little bit of chicken or vegetable stock to that. A couple of cups. Bring that up to a simmer. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of tomato basil sauce to that. Oh, very nice. It is very Italian nice. bean soup, yep. anyone? And some fresh, uh, and some pasta, some shell pasta. Serve that in, bring it up to a boil, cook it for eight to ten minutes. And okay. then we're going to check our seasoning, a little salt and pepper. Okay. Absolutely Smells good. Beautiful. Looks good. Yeah. And then we're going to plate that up and uh, top it with a little bit of bacon and Parmesan cheese. Oh. Maybe a little crusty baguette bread. It's a delicious, nice, hearty soup. Now, you could leave the bacon out of this and use veg stock just to make it a complete vegetarian or even a vegan soup, couldn't you? Absolutely. Like the cheese off. As a matter of fact, I prefer vegetable stock. Yeah, I like a vegetable stock, too, because then you can season it however you want. You can add a little extra salt if you want to pull the salt out, a little extra pepper in there. Yeah. Great dish, Jim. Thank you. Uh, starting tomorrow, be sure to stop by your Publix Apron Simple Meals kiosk to pick up this recipe card and all the ingredients to go with this great meal. Make sure you taste it first, though, because you're going to love it. Have a great day. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Everybody can make something because I think everyone has a spark of creativity. And the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No small I mean, really moves me. Wow. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder. High performance style. Let the art of fiat move you. The ABC7 First Alert Hurricane Guide. Download yours today.
there are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, tests are back on the soil around the former Bayshore High School. We'll tell you if graduates were right about their concerns involving serious illnesses coming from the campus. Plus, Hurricane, Hurricane Irma shuts down another area pier. We'll tell you how long the Anna Maria Pier could be closed. And we'll tell you how the World Rowing Championships are saying thank you to local veterans and first responders. Those stories and more right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC7 studios. This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. There's a pretty shot of the Ringling Causeway. Look, some traffic heading this way from St. Armand Circle. I, if I was waking up on an early Wednesday morning, I'd want to stay on St. Armand Circle. Go out and enjoy yeah. the morning on Lido Key. We are off to a very great start with clear skies. Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Roberts. And I'm Ray Collins. Another hot day in the forecast, or so says meteorologist John Scalzi. Hey, John. Good morning. Yeah, I think we're looking at another day where we'll have daytime high temperatures uh, at 88 degrees or above across the area. Many places hitting the 90 mark or even a little higher, 91 or so. We have a little bit of increasing moisture over the next several days. Coming up from the south, it's eroding away at that dry air that's brought us pretty much rain-free skies across the region, except for some isolated showers that have developed mostly in inland areas. We'll probably see a few more of those inland showers later on this afternoon, but the coastal region should remain quiet just as they are right now. The daytime high will again be seasonable or slightly above, I think. Uh, we're looking at a daytime high close to the 90 mark in many locations with a 10%. That's it, chance of rain. But those rain chances spike up this weekend. We'll talk about that in just a second. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic now. Some issues there building. First off, State Road 64, westbound toward the beaches. Also, that issue continues to be an, uh, a problem there. At uh, State Road 70, the right turn lane blocked at Ranch Lake Boulevard. Farther south now, a new issue to report at the 41301 Fork in the Road. Northbound left lane blocked at Bay Street. That's in front of the Publix there and across from a condo complex that I know very well. South County 41 northbound, a little issue there, otherwise all clear at 632 on your Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning, rather. Topping our news this half hour, the results are in regarding possible environmental issues at Bayshore High School in Bradenton, which some believe are related to cancer clusters. Now, an engineering firm has determined there are no serious concerns for former staff or students. Our Rick Adams has that report. Well, this is an issue that continues to stir up quite a bit of controversy. On Tuesday, the school board here had a chance to hear the results from the study. There's some relief for students and faculty at Bayshore High School in Bradenton. Test results from groundwater samples at the school show that there aren't any significant concerns. But there still remain some unanswered questions about the many cases of cancer in former students who attended the high school. At least we know that the students and the faculty that are, that are there now are safe and they, should not, they will not be exposed to the things that we were potentially exposed to. Tampa-based engineering consultant GHD conducted the two studies and presented their results to the Manatee County School Board during a workshop on Tuesday. The group says they've identified eight possible sources of contamination, including materials with asbestos, to the two irrigation wells, all of which they concluded that there are very minimal risks to the students. School officials say this cancer cluster issue is far from over. The determination of whether whether there truly is a cancer cluster needs to be completed before any other discussion of a resolution can be had. Next up with all this, the Manatee County School Board is hopeful that the County Health Department will take a much closer look at this cancer cluster issue. Reporting from Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Happening today, jury selection is now over and opening statements begin this morning in the Frank Bybee case. Bybee is facing 20 felony charges for stealing money and trying to kill an elderly woman he met and checked on after a routine call. He's a former Sarasota County Sheriff deputy. Bybee's defense claims the woman has a history of mental health issues, including emails where she threatened to kill herself. Bybee has pleaded not guilty. And another trial begins this morning, this one in Manatee County. Trey Nanambre and two other men allegedly forced their way into a home on Southern Parkway in July of 2015 before killing Esther Deneas and Contrell Brooks. Nanambre has been charged with two counts of murder and home invasion. Now, 
one of the other suspects took a plea deal of 25 years in prison in exchange for testifying against Don Nombre and the third man. Now to a developing story out in Northport where police continue to investigate a suspicious death. So far, police have not released very much information, but we know officers were called to a home on Roxbury Circle yesterday where they found a 22-year-old male victim inside. Police say this does appear to be an isolated incident, but they are asking anyone with information on what could have happened to please call the Northport Police Department. Governor Scott wants to spend $50 million more million to attack the state's ongoing opioid crisis. The governor made the announcement yesterday at the Bradenton Police Department. Manatee County has some of the highest abuse rates in the state. The governor wants to use the additional money towards substance abuse treatment and also recovery services for patients. Making sure people understand when they're prescribing uh, the risk, making sure that you, you can have a limited supply of these opioids uh, is a big deal. Using the database will be a big deal. The governor believes this proposal will limit the chance of drug addiction and reduce the chance of these drugs from spreading around our community and throughout the state. Meantime, a local anti-drug organization was recognized by the White House yesterday. They're using drug-free manatees community opioid education workshops as an example of the ways coalitions are making a difference in their respective communities. A press release also announced additional funding for drug-free community support programs. Programs fund over 700 coalitions across the country, including Drug Free Manatee, which is one of the recipients of this federal grant. A local farm market is getting a new location here on the Sun Coast. Detweiler's Farm Market purchased an eight-acre site with more than 50,000 square feet of commercial space. This will be its fourth store, and it's in Palmetto. Detweiler's began as a roadside stand in 2002. It is owned and operated by a couple and their nine children. The company's flagship store in Sarasota opened in 2008, and the company also now has stores in Venice and on University Parkway. The Palmetto store will be the company's largest. It will employ more than 100 staff members. Happening today, the World Rowing Championships will salute veterans and first responders with free admission. No ticket required throughout the day and veterans and first responders can also receive half off all tickets for the rest of the competition. Spectators will have the chance to watch races from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and also take part in the Fan Fest as well. So be sure to come out to Nathan Benderson Park today for those specials. A follow-up now on efforts to get scattered storm debris off the streets and curbs here on the Sun Coast. Crews with the city of Sarasota and contractors are working north to south throughout neighborhoods seven days a week to collect debris. So far, they've collected 200 loads. That translates to almost 7,000 cubic yards of debris. Public work crews are also picking up fallen limbs and branches. And in total, the 7,000 cubic yards that have been picked up will continue to be distributed. Anna Maria's historic city pier could be closed for at least a year due to damage caused by Hurricane Irma. The storm caused extensive damage to the pier that already had issues. Several pier plankings are now gone and there's some damage to the infrastructure of the pier. Among other issues, the pier restaurant at the western edge of the pier had a roof torn off and remains closed as well. A Tampa engineering firm conducted an initial assessment of the pier last weekend and determined it is in poor condition. The damage was such was caused by both wind and the tidal action and waves that were as a result of Hurricane Irma. So we have a plan in place to move forward and do the repairs to the pier. It could be a little bit disappointing, but hopefully people don't get deterred from traveling down here. A lot of people like to come out visit it. It has a pretty nice restaurant out on it. A lot of fishing goes on here. Hopefully they'll get this back up and running because a lot of people like to go out here. City officials are trying to uh, get funding from the county and the state to help rebuild the pier and are still hopeful it can reopen hopefully in less than a year. FEMA is adding dates next week to help Manatee County residents register for damage assistance related to Hurricane Irma. FEMA will be at the Manatee County Central Library next Monday and Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They'll be at the South Manatee Library Wednesday from noon until 8 and Thursday from 9 until 5. FEMA will also be at the Island Library next Friday and Saturday from 9 to 5. So all throughout next week in Manatee County, residents who attend one of the dates should bring their Social Security number, a description of their damage, insurance 
insurance information, a phone number, a mailing address, and bank information. Speaking of damage, you can still get some help from Operation Blue Roof. Representatives with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will be at the Walmart on State Road 64 in Bradenton through Saturday, and they will be there at 8 o'clock every morning. Contractors will come out and install temporary roof coverings for free to homeowners. Only homes with shingled roofs are eligible. Happening tonight, Texas Roadhouse restaurants holding a benefit for communities impacted by Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. More than 500 restaurants across the country will donate profits to the American Red Cross and other local organizations. Texas Roadhouse restaurants across Texas and Florida have provided more than 50,000 meals to shelters and first responders in the aftermath of the hurricanes. Now, the local restaurant is on State Road 70 east of the interstate. Go there today between 4 p.m. And 10 p.m. Nice gesture there. Absolutely. And nice to see that gesture continuing, not just in Texas, where obviously they're headquartered with mm -hmm. Harvey, but here to Florida and Irma as well. Yeah, it's a great thing. There's a lot of need out there this time. Definitely. We have uh, showers and thunderstorms in the forecast over the weekend. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. All right. And still to come here on Good Morning Sun Coast, we'll check first alert traffic. And then new research suggests that teens experience more concussions than originally thought. We'll tell you how often experts say these dangerous hits could be going untreated after this. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Nobody beats Subaru in service quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And AOT named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now lease the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback for just $239 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. It's Willamania at the Player Center as the Will Rogers Follies takes the stage September 27th. Part homespun humor and part Ziegfeld Follies, this toe-tapping Tony Award musical is the start of our wild Broadway series. So call the players at 365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You need to catch Willamania. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. Now your ABC7 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Well, again, 73 degrees, the air temperature, dew point coming in at 73. 100% relative humidity. We have a north wind coming in at about 3 as well. Kind of light wind out of the north. A lot of stars out there this morning. Very clear kind of a sky. A lot of dry air still aloft. But that moisture is starting to increase across the southern tip of the state. And it's inching its way northward across our region over the next couple of days. 76 degrees, Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka coming in at 75, 73 in Parrish, Bradenton at 72, 78 in Venice as it is in Northport and Boca Grande coming in warm at 80 degrees. It's going to be another warm, toasty day today. 
at least an average temperature of 88 degrees, which is average for this time of year here. It might even be a little bit warmer than that in many places, cracking the 90 degree mark, certainly not out of the question. We don't have much in the way of rainfall across the state currently. We had a few scattered showers earlier on over on the other coast. And down in the southern tip of the state, especially around Alligator Alley, southward we're seeing some light showers and even a few thunderstorms in progress this morning. Locally, everything is quiet. Don't expect to see much here. We have a lot of dry air still in place, limiting the number of showers we get today along the coast to about 10% or so. Across the nation, the Northeast Corridor looks fine. The Mid-Atlantic looks great. Deep South is fine. Airport hubs of Atlanta, Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham, all A-OK. -okay. Back to the West, though, it's a little bit wet in Texas and Oklahoma. We have a frontal boundary that's kind of carving its way through that area, and it's kicking up some rain showers, some of them heavy at times in that part of the country. We have a big spinning gyre of low pressure, trough of low pressure, over the uh, Florida Peninsula. It's just been kind of hanging there for days. And what it tends to do is uh, take in some of the drier air and scoot it right across our region. But notice how it's kind of eroding from south to north across the region. And that'll be the case throughout the next couple of days. As we increase moisture, we're going to add to the mix a trough of low pressure, a cold front trying to work its way southward. Well, it won't bring us a whole lot in the way of colder air, but it will provide a little extra lift to the atmosphere, and that will help boost our rain chances as we head into the weekend. We uh, continue to watch our tropical storm move away from the mid-Atlantic region. As it does so, some computer models suggest that in its wake, a little area of low pressure might develop in the Atlantic, close to the center part of the state of Florida, and then move across the state over the weekend. That would help enhance our rainfall chances as well and may bring us some periods of heavier rainfall Saturday or Sunday. let will see if it develops. Mostly uh, inland showers today, a warm afternoon, and then mostly sunny skies. That's your forecast for today and for the next day or two. Northwest wind coming in at about 10 knots, but things change as we head into the weekend. The dry weather we have been having starts to change, and we get showers and thunderstorms intermittent throughout the afternoon and evenings, some of them heavy Saturday and Sunday. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, John. Checking out the roadways this morning, starting to see that increasing volume there. Uh, 301, still watching an accident on State Road 70. Right turn lane is blocked there on uh, Ranch Lake Boulevard. That is not on the interstate, however, so some good news there. Looking at another accident on 41, uh, looks like it is just south of Fruitville there at Bay Street, not causing any problems at this early hour in Sarasota. No problems on I-75, and things are looking good all the way into South County. In this hour's Health Smart, concussions in kids are a bad mix that many parents and doctors have feared for years. Now there are new numbers on exactly how many young athletes might be exposed to these injuries. We'll hear from ABC's Lana Zack. Taking one for the team. It's something that millions of American kids involved in contact sports are willing to do. And while such hits don't always lead to concussions and other injuries, many young athletes leave the field with what we now know may be lifelong effects. In a new report, researchers at the University of Michigan find that nearly one in five teens may have experience with concussions. To arrive at this troubling number, the researchers surveyed more than 13,000 8th, 10th, and 12th graders, estimating that 19.5% reported being diagnosed with at least one concussion in the past. And perhaps even more worrying, 6% of these kids reported more than one such diagnosis. For parents and coaches of kids in competitive sports, it's a wake-up call, underscoring the need for safe play, as well as vigilance when concussions are a possibility. With this Medical Minute, I'm Lana Zak. Entertainment news now. The horror movie called It is so popular, a sequel is already in the works. It should hit theaters in about two years. Since it debuted earlier this month, the film has shattered all kinds of records, including the top-grossing horror film of all time. The previous number one was The Exorcist, which was number one back in 1973. That one made $233 million. It has already earned $270 million. Led Zeppelin's former frontman is going on tour next year. Robert Plant has a new album called Carry Fire. He'll start his tour in February in Raleigh, North Carolina. Florida is not on the tour. Plant is now 69 years young, and Rolling Stone ranked him number 15 on the list of the top singers of all time. 
Ever wanted to go shoe shopping with Carrie Bradshaw? A handful of Sarah Jessica Parker fans get that chance. She is teaming up with Airbnb to lead a special walking tour of New York City. The actress will lead four tourists on a shoe shopping extravaganza. Each person paid $400. That's not too much to take part, but that includes a pair of SJP shoes and tickets to the New York City Ballet. Would you want to do that? I would do that in a heartbeat, and I would want a glass of wine and to talk to Carrie Bradshaw as well. Uh, were you a big She's a trip. I love that show. Did you love the show? Absolutely love the show. I, I sure. actually watch reruns, too, with Aaron. Yeah, you, the reruns are cleaner than the originals as well. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> All right, 10 to 7 right now. Next, we'll update the day's top local news headlines. And one Australia couple gets the ultimate deal at Costco. We'll tell you how these newlyweds made sure shoppers had an experience they won't soon forget. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12 year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. As a singer-songwriter, it's all about creating high-performance art that moves people. Same is true in making gorgeous cars. Fiat designs it. You're the artist. Choose your palette just about any color combo inside out. No small wonder, state-of-the-art style Fiat. Now this moves me. They're playing my song. Let the art of Fiat move you at Fiat of Sarasota. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Attention type 2 diabetics. The FDA warns of an increased risk of amputation associated with certain diabetes medications. If you took the diabetes medications Invokana or Invokamet and then suffered an amputation or one of these other serious injuries, call the Rely On Group right now. If you've suffered amputation or any of these other injuries after taking your diabetes medication, call the Rely On Group today. You may be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-604-1698. That's 800-604-1698. The ABC7 First Alert Hurricane Guide arms you with vital information when severe weather threatens the Sun Coast. Visit MySunCoast.com and download yours today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Pretty shot developing out there at Nathan Benderson Park. There's the finishing tower. Another big day at the World Rowing Championships. That's right. And first responders and veterans get free admission today. So go out and enjoy. It is a very pretty venue and great to have those world-class athletes here on the Sun Coast. It is 654 and here are some top stories we're following for you on the Sun Coast today. Two high-profile trials begin today on the Sun Coast. Former Sarasota County Sheriff's Deputy 
Frank Bybee facing 20 felony counts, including attempted murder. He is pleading not guilty. Plus, the second of three suspects goes on trial for killing a couple in their home two years ago on Southern Parkway in Manatee County. Trey Nanombre pled not guilty. One of the other suspects already took a plea deal, 25 years in prison in exchange for testifying against the other two. And more fallout from Hurricane Irma. First of Venice Pier, now it turns out the Anna Maria Island Pier will also be closed for a while to undergo some repairs. Quick look at traffic. A couple of problem spots for first alert traffic to point out. Still have a problem on State Road 70. That is uh, leaving Ranch Lake Boulevard there at Lakewood Ranch, and it is slowing things down a bit now. Also an accident on uh, the trail. It is northbound right at Bay Street. That's just south of Fruitville Road. That does not appear to be causing too many slowdowns, though folks are looking in the southbound direction. No big problems in South County. John? Oh, we're looking at another nice day today. Plenty of sunshine around, maybe a few fair weather clouds by afternoon. Most of us will not see rain. There'll be a few isolated showers inland. Better rain chances over the weekend. Finally, Costco is known for great deals, but one Australian couple has sealed the deal of a lifetime. They got married in front of the tire center. Friends and family were all there. Hundreds of bargain shoppers watched as well. The store provided catering for the reception afterwards, which included hot dogs, pizza, and drinks. The bride said they served each guest for less than $10. Not a bad deal at Costco. Hey, anytime you go there on a weekend, you can eat lunch and dinner by walking around with samples for free. So <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I know that trick for feeding hungry boys. They could have spent their entire honeymoon in line, though, trying to check out. Good point. Good point. <laughs> nice. Enjoy your Wednesday, folks. Good morning, America's up next.